Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Garden State Growing. Once again, my name is Eric, and I am sitting here in front of my tomato bed. That's not a tomato bed, it's just a bed right now. And uh, I mean, so that's what this video is gonna be about. It's gonna, it's gonna be about the struggles that I've had this, uh, you know, winter into spring, spring into almost summer now and uh, what I've had to do and the mode of gardening I had to turn into, which uh, I've had to do this before in the past, but never as drastically or intense as I've had to do uh, this year. Uh, so let me just get right into it. As you can see behind me, I have a flat of tomato plants. I have some uh, soil that I mixed up. It's, so let's start at the beginning. Uh, around the last, uh, th around the third week of May, I made the decision that I thought the weather was gonna be good enough to bring my plants outside to harden them off. I wanted to try to get them into the ground around the May 20th to the 27th uh, week there. Uh, the problem was is that the minute I brought them all outside to start to harden them off, even with the umbrella that I had to shade them out, I ran into a lot of difficulties and I'll tell you why. At first, we had, I would say the last week of, you know, of May or the last two weeks of May, we had a, an intense drought and there was no rain and there was extremely high temperatures. We went from like 60s to 90s really quick and we, we had like a week, maybe a week and a half of intense no rain at all. Uh, so my options were try to shade them out, try to water them every day uh, instead of bringing, you know, 15, 16, you know, 72 cell, you know, flats down back down into the basement to protect them. And I decided to leave the umbrella up. I thought the shade was great. I didn't mind coming out here and watering them, which I had to water quite a bit, but it didn't leave me a lot of opportunity to either transplant them out into the garden or even up pot them. Cause I just felt they were too stressed out the way I was looking at them. They were not like the healthiest looking plants that I've ever seen. And that was across the board with most of my plants. Uh, I did have an entire flat of my brassicas die off, which was to be expected they are cooler weather but that's fine i've got the fall to plant them in so then after we went through this whole like drought period and positioning my umbrella to shade them out and only give them a couple hours of sun every day uh, we immediately went into thunderstorms for like a week and a half and it was almost every single day or every other day that this gigantic, not just wind and rain, I mean, it, it was just intense. So I had to, I had no choice to take down my umbrella or else it would have just been broken into pieces and blown away. And I wasn't willing to do that for a $600 umbrella. Uh, I had the choice. I could uh, rush them downstairs into the basement and try to protect them. I could possibly put them underneath the deck but I didn't like that idea because it, to me, that would have been it inconveniently unaccessible. I wouldn't have crawled underneath my deck to check on these plants at any given time. So I left them up on the table, not thinking that we were gonna get the rains that we kind of got. And there became, and I will show you, I, I have a video out already that has some footage of that, but I, I'll, I'll throw some in here right now. Hey, happy Memorial Day weekend to everyone. I had so many plans to do things in the garden this weekend, but <laughs> as you can see, here we are, New Jersey 2021. Yesterday, we just ended a drought for about two weeks and 85 to 95 degree weather. We're down to about 55 degrees and just torrential downpours. Here's the sucky part. If I leave my umbrella up to stop my trays of seedlings from getting soaked, it might get destroyed. So I had to pull it down and just 
pray and see what happens tomorrow morning. The winds have been moderate at best. Not, I mean, at some points I was really clinching, but <laughs> whoo, boy, it's been okay so far. There's no trays on the ground. Uh, if something disastrous happens later on tonight, or I wake up tomorrow morning and find a total S storm, I will let you know, but this kind of uh, stinks a little bit. All right, peace out. I don't know where this video is going, but I'm gonna put it somewhere. All right, you wanna run? You wanna run? I'm gonna run, but real quick, right? Oh God, it's like ping pong balls of rain. All right, 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 all right. Everything looks good. I'm going. Oh God, it's so cold. Uh, of it just uh, intense wind, rain, and what the only thing that was fortuitous about the entire situation was it rained so much that the pants filled up so much with water that made them so heavy that the winds couldn't blow them off the table. But what that also meant was I had to come out here probably every two to three hours. And I could have probably done sooner and just dump out the trays and dump out the trays and dump out the trays. I was, I was just waiting for my plants, all my plants to show me signs of dampening off and being waterlogged and just dying. And I fought so hard during that whole rainy period. Uh, so now it brings us to where we are today, which is June 7th. So I'm literally uh, about three weeks behind on putting uh, a lot of my plants into the garden. Not all of them. I, I do have quite a bit already in the garden. And as I'm looking, uh, I got some that are doing fantastic, like my potatoes and stuff. My cucumbers, not so much. My beans are doing really well. Of course, my strawberries are doing well and my asparagus is probably done for the season. But, so here we are around June, it, it, well, I know for a fact it's June 7th, and uh, I just have not had opportunities to get out here into the garden and do anything, and it really, it was starting to really affect me uh, personally, you know? Uh, every time, it's not that I didn't have any free days to do stuff in the garden, it just seemed every free day I had, it was either pouring out or thunderstorming out. And this weekend was going to be like one of the nicest weekends we've had, even though it is super hot, I'm soaked right now. It's not ideal conditions to transplant in, but it is my first absolutely day off that I don't have any other obligations. Uh, I, like I said, you know, I had opportunities to get out here and do things in the garden, but I, I had to work. And a lot of that is, you know, I, a top of my normal, you know, 40 hours I put in. I have call shifts, I have working call shifts, I have backup call shifts. And uh, it's just seemed like every nice day that I could have gotten out here to do something, uh, I got blocked up with something. And then, you know, I'll definitely put some photos in this video, but I'm, I think I'm gonna do an entire other video about um i got the opportunity to cater uh, a graduation party for one of the doctors that i work with her daughter graduated high school and is going on to uh, Carne carnegie mellon and she is one of the most adorably sweet girls i've ever met so polite so smart so intelligent it was a privilege to go there and uh and cook food for her family and her friends that came from all over the country and the world to be with her on this special night so i uh, that's i i'll sorry i'm sorry i i reminisce but i'll get back to it so friday saturday and sunday of this week uh was basically all grocery shopping 
cooking, 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 grocery shopping, cooking, 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 delivering food, and then actually staying there and catering the party, which is something I usually, I've never done really, to be honest with you. I usually just drop trays off and I'm gone. Uh, but she wanted to have a couple servers and bartenders that I had to recruit and hire to come along with me, including my wife. And uh, I think the night went off spectacular. Uh, I, I know if I, I made more money in those like two and a half days than I make in two weeks at my job. So I digress. But anyway, <laughs> so we had a great time and uh, I missed uh, a lot of time that I could have been spending in the garden and I do not regret it. It was a beautiful experience. And uh, so here we are today, June 7th. Uh, <laughs> it is hot as anything out here right now. I'm sucking down the Gatorade, just trying to stay hydrated. And uh, I need to get all of these tomatoes on the ground. And, okay, so here is my plan for today. Tomatoes, both beds, boom, done. Gonna take a long time. I need to hill up my potatoes. I'm not gonna include that in the next video. The next video is just gonna be tomatoes. Maybe I'll do a video on hilling up my potatoes and then what else? Did I, oh, then I want to go take care of my fruit trees because they are, they are producing lots of fruit. I fertilized them about a month ago and I want to throw down just another good top dressing and I wanna throw some nice mulch around the tree to tamp it down the weeds. And, and get that done. So that's what I have to do today. And now I'm staring at my pepper bed and I need to get my peppers in that bed. But I'm not as concerned because for whatever reason, they're doing just magnificently up on the deck in their seed trays. Uh, they could be probably five times as big as they are if I would have put them in the garden three weeks ago. Uh, but you can do what you can do when you can do it. You know what I mean? So let's get going on that. Uh, and like I said, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna explain all of that in this video. This video was just about my experience with this spring, uh, going, you know, this, uh, winter into spring, spring into summer this year and the struggles I've been having and being constantly in this rescue mode where I'm not just taking care of these plants. Like they have just taken up such a huge portion of my worry and my time and uh, my anxiety. I guess they're all practically the same thing. Uh, just to keep these plants alive. And I think I've been successful in doing that. I don't know how successful I'm going to be at the end of the story when it comes to harvesting some of these. As far as some of the things that I've already been able to get into the ground, like the potatoes that are doing just smashingly fantastic. Uh, we'll see what happens with the rest of them. So if you did like this content, if you did like what I shared in this video about weather and uh, extreme weather and rescue mode and everything else and not to give up, not to, uh, I remember, I, it's never a failure. I mean, if all your plants die, you're still not a failure. The only time you're a failure is when you give up. When you just say, ah, F it, I'm not gonna take care of them anymore. Uh, there's been so many times where I said that plant is going to die, but I know what to do right now to, to take care of it and uh, at least try to get it to survive. And I did get a lot to survive. And you're going to see uh, a lot of those examples because I am going to reference it in future videos. So if you do want to see those videos, please do. Like I said, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, ring a ding ding. I love you. I will see you on the next episode. <laughs> I call it you. No. I call it you. <laughs> 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 <laughs>